welcome to the Ichimoku Charts.com daily analysis for Lights for Crude Oil for Monday, October 29, 2012. Well, a continuation of the trend of the downside today. The candle has made a higher high but a lower low. And uh, the previous day's trading, we had a candle with a lower high and a lower low. Therefore, the trend doesn't change and uh, the market continues trending down to the downside in the first time frame. Interestingly, uh, following this very uh, solid high momentum downtrend in the first time frame, the market uh, was trading within this yellow zone of previous support and resistance, and we failed to change the trend. The market's congesting, some sort of a congesting area, but no change of trend there, so that's quite significant that the buyers haven't been strong enough to change the trend to the uh, to the upside, and it highlights this uh, area of uh, uh, highlighted area in yellow and the influence uh, around the top here um, of the uh, selling uh, potential selling around the here with when we look at this largish black body on this candle, we see the sellers starting to come back into this market. And they've made some very solid net bearish progress on the day between the open and the close today. We have seen some price rejection from down around the 85 level, and we've seen that for the previous four trading days. The market's tested either almost to that level or exactly to or just below that level and has been rejected from there. So within this zone, the 85 level will be important. If we see a close down below the 85 level and a bearish close, then the market uh, will uh, potentially have some momentum to test to the 83.65 level and potentially beyond. So we do need to be aware of that. Obviously, uh, for the next uh, few days trading, uh, we do need to watch the upper boundary here around 87 and below here around the uh, 84 level. In terms of the Fibonacci extension, we're examining the current first time frame downtrend to the previous time the market was trending down and nothing much doing here. We had a bearish breakout down below the 161.8% level and uh, the fact that the market's failed to change trend does suggest that the market is destined for lower levels. The 261.8% level is uh, the next target and that's at 83.36. And with the Fibonacci retracement of the prior uptrend, we're in an expansive phase of that traded bearishly through the 161.8% level. Gives us a target at 83.80, coinciding with the bottom of the cla of that uh, highlighted area. And there is strong potential now with this uh, fairly bearish candle for the market to test down to there uh, over the next day or two. In terms of Ichimoku, uh, the market remains bearish in all three time frames. Uh, we have the market trading below the cloud, so it's bearish in the long term time frame, and also trading below the Kijun Sen and the Tenkan Sen, so the market's bearish in the medium and fast term time frames as well. Uh, the fact that this market, as I've mentioned, has failed to rally in any significant way and change trend is very important. With this uh, fairly bearish black bodied candle, uh, uh, for today's trading, it does suggest that there is potential for the market to trade to lower levels. Uh, there is a possibility we could see the market testing to the 83, 85 level and even beyond. Uh, before that, the 85 level I've mentioned is very important, but uh, certainly a test down to the lower boundary here at 83, 85 wouldn't surprise. Should offer itself as very, very solid support. It coincides with the Fibonacci levels. We have a Fibonacci ratio just down below here between there and the 83. So we do expect some solid support below, but um, certainly a test of lower levels over the next day or two wouldn't, wouldn't surprise.